No, this is not my Halloween costume. It's minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And still dialing into my snow running, winter running kit. And I'm out at Cache Creek. It's a day before Halloween, and this is the coldest I've ever, ever remembered it being this early. It feels like the start of December rather than November. Um, we got a lot of snow up here. You know, it once it uh, once it gets cold, the snow stays. So, anyways, this is my recovery week. So we're gonna talk recovery. Four points of recovery. Um, number one is typically uh, I'll step take a step back. Um, in my coaching, I coach my athletes to a three-week building phase with the fourth week as their recovery. So again, three weeks of building in intensity volume based on time of year, and then that fourth week is recovery or test week or both. And so the point number one is that on that fourth week of recovery, I reduce their weekly volume by 40%. So if you're running by miles, let's say you run 60 miles a week, you wanna reduce that to about 40 miles a week. If you run more by time, which is what I have most of my athletes do most of the time, if you're running 10 hours a week, you wanna reduce that to about six hours a week. So again, 40% reduction, because recovery is when we rebuild our body. Point number two, within that weekly volume, we want to keep the intensity very easy. Again, that's where we're resting by the reduction in volume and we're getting recovery by the reduction also in intensity. So if you're following my program, running by heart rate, recovery heart rates, typically zone one, zone two, so very easy. If you're running more for pace on the road, let's say you run uh, your endurance, nice easy endurance pace is eight minute pace you want to reduce that by at least one minute per mile. So you want to be more in a nine to 10 minute range. Hey, the Kenyans do this. My athletes do this. This is where you get better. Okay, so really reduce that, that intensity um, and an effort by at least one minute per mile um, going um, throughout the week. And super, super important. Point number three is that within that, Reek of recovery, we want to reduce volume, like I said, reduce intensity, but we want to keep frequency. So example, is that typically, hey, maybe I have my athletes, they have one day off a week, they're running six days a week. For the most part, we want to keep that six days. I might, depending on where they're at in their program, I might give them an extra day off. Um, but for the most part, I'm keeping frequency. So meaning, Hey, if they're running five or six days a week, they're continuing to run five or six days a week, but each day is, re is that reduction, okay? Again, weekly volume reduction and intensity, okay? So keep frequency, super important. And what you wanna do towards the end of recovery week is you wanna start doing a, a day or two of some pickups. Maybe at the end of your easy run, you, you throw in five or six 20 to 30 second pickups because the legs will get stale. Okay, that's that's okay. But by doing these pickups later in the week, they'll start kind of waking the legs up and getting them ready for the following week where you start kind of building again. So do some pickups later in the week, 20, 30 seconds, nice, nice, fun, and relaxed. Point number four is I'll often ask my athletes, hey, let me know when you start getting hungry. So typically about maybe midweek, through recovery, through proper recovery of all these three points up to this point, is that your body's rebuilding, okay? When we get recovery is when our body gets stronger, when it gets faster, when it creates a bigger engine, okay? We're building, we're tearing the muscles down, we're tearing the body down during that three-week build, okay? So it's going like this, we bring it down, that recovery is when your body rebuilds, when you're getting better, when you realize all your training. So without recovery, you're not gonna get the benefits of everything you're doing in your hard training, okay? So we've gotta treat recovery just as important as the hard work, okay? It's no less important, it's all part of the puzzle, okay? So with that, 
as your body rebuilds, rebuilds, restores the muscles, re rebuilds the body, maybe about midweek in doing that, your body's gonna start getting really hungry. It's, it's, it's working, okay, it's rebuilding. So the body gets hungry. That's your clue to know that the recovery is working, okay? So be aware of that. Midweek, maybe it takes two or three days, again, depending on where you're at in your season and how hard those three weeks were. The harder they will, the more, the more you get into this, the more months you layer on, the, maybe the hungrier you're gonna get. You may even notice a drop in body weight, kind of an overnight type of experience where you, where you drop maybe two or three pounds um, and, you know, right away, okay? So again, that's a good sign, getting hungry, your body's rebuilding and knows that you're getting the recovery you need. If you're not getting hungry and m maybe you're, you, you, just the opposite you don't you you don't you're not hungry at all okay that that's letting you know just the opposite hey you need to maybe ease off even more okay and let the body rebuild maybe you do have to add it an extra day off okay and let the body rebuild and get hungry okay all right that's my points of recovery today and i'm gonna head back down the hill got my six miles i got three miles up and then I'm going to head back down the hill to get six miles in. Today's usually my long day. And I'm backing it off to a little over an hour. It's slow going, so it's real slow, easy pace. So, And the shadows are getting nice and long. Winter's here in Jackson Hole. All right, thanks, you guys. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. And I'm headed down the hill. See you next time.